Hi, Michelle. This is Rebecca with your Assignment 1 Travel Poster Critique. So great job here. I really love the concept behind this and that um, it's a lot of, you know, iconic imagery of Scotland in a collage form instead of, you know, just like a regular, you know, landscape image. And I think that that was a really neat way to go about this project. So congratulations on coming up with a really great concept. Um, as far as knowing what the poster is for, we can see that really well using um, a red font with the yellow background. Uh, makes some beautiful contrast that really draws our eye up there to, to look at the text and read it. And I love the balance with the yellow and the red and the dog down here. Um, so you have some nice color composition going there as well. The uh, Irish thistle, I'm sorry, Irish, <laughs> the Scottish thistle was a really great idea as well as, you know, even, you know, referencing the con the shape of the continent in the background is nice. And the plaid was a really, really great driving home, uh, you know, iconic image for us to associate with Scotland. So great work there. Uh, some of the things I wanted to talk to you about was the, um, the required, the requirements on the uh, travel poster addendum and that is uh, the first one or sorry the second thing says uh, we need to have a white border around this and your image kind of bleeds all the way off so I'd like to see you know at least an eighth inch of a white border around this. Um, secondly uh, it looks like you used more than seven colors and it says that the requirements state that you can only use a max of seven and they all need to be colors that are on the list here and I'm not sure if this stroke color is on the list unless it's that orange color up there but um, honestly a lot of these strokes are unnecessary I'd like to see you eliminate them and, and um, you know see how that works without them so this visit Scotland does not need an orange stroke around it um, majority of these things do not need a white stroke and the um, the highlights in the dog's fur does not need a black stroke as well as around his body and the red collar. So just, you know, play with that and see, see how it turns out. There may be, um, you know, between the thistle and the, the um, continent behind it, when you take out the white stroke, it may look a little flat. So we, you might want to consider a different color for this part of the thistle or a different color for the continent. So just see how it turns out and just experiment with it. Um, let's see. And I also, the plaid is, it doesn't quite look like plaid because it's not totally symmetrical. Um, so for example, if you were to look up plaid, notice that there are, you know, there's a large square and then these small lines and they're symmetrical and then the pattern repeats. Um, so I'd like you to just, you know, take a look at some plaid patterns and, and reassess what's going on back here in the background. Um, also, like this colored border, it doesn't repeat anywhere within the plaid pattern. So, um, you know, and you may, need, you may get away with something really subtle too. I mean, it doesn't have to be four different colors per se. It could even be two colors, you know. Um, so anywho, just take a look at that. Um, other than that, I think the composition is really good. I think that, like I said, I love this idea and this was a really fantastic start. Your pen tool skills have gotten way better than they were on the chat book assignment. So great job working hard to get that, uh, to see that improvement. I'm really proud of that and just keep going strong. You're doing great.